So this is the worst pattern release I've ever had. Completely open, honest vulnerability here. Feel like this has been a little bit of a drawn out breakup. Hey team. I wouldn't use the word worse. But I don't know what other word to use. So this is the worst pattern release I've ever had. I'm at a point, I don't know which way I'm gonna go. And it's on my mind and I wanna talk about it. So I figured let's just hit record. Then after we've chatted, maybe I will have processed enough to figure out my next steps. This is just me sharing the reality of trying to build a business from the ground up. In many ways, I, I'm still so new at this because I went full time in January, 2021. So in many ways, my business is still very, very new and it is still very much establishing itself. When you add up how many months I've actually been doing this, I think it equates to like maybe 12 to 18 and they haven't been consecutive. So I'm sharing this because from the outside in, I am aware that maybe I look established and that I have like large-ish following and that um, I've got it all sorted and I'm pretty sure if other business owners was to share the reality they probably I like to think deal with some of the same issues so this weekend I released my comfort cushion pattern let's talk about the things I've done differently this time that might be partly to contribute Let's talk about some of the things that I want to do differently. And then let's talk about some of the noise in my head as well. These little pesky gremlins. Like, logically, not all of my patterns are gonna be best sellers. Not all of them are gonna be amazing. Does that mean that I shouldn't put them out there? No. Does that mean that I failed in some way? No. Does it? kind of sting a little bit. Let's do the pesky gremlins because they're loud and then we can move on. So first of all, is it because it's a simple pattern? Is it too simple? Do people think that, well, I can just do that without looking at the pattern? Is it because people are a little bit tight on money at the moment? Is it because I didn't get it in front of enough people? So if it's the pattern, which I don't think it is the pattern. But if it's the pattern, is it that it's too simple or it's too different from the items I would normally make? And if it's the pattern, is that an indicator that rather than focusing on individual patterns that I should just really go full force on the sub squad because that's been such a success so far? Or is it just a combination of things that has made this fake? Is it because I've put too much into Instagram and not elsewhere? Is it because I've not marketed it enough? I haven't utilised email, I didn't post on Facebook, I did post on YouTube, so there's more that could be done there. Like, what is it? My marketing needs to change quickly and drastically and let's just be clear here my biggest following is on instagram i spend most of my time in and on instagram most of my people are on instagram so that's where it makes sense to spend most of my time right wrong wrong i i do not even understand so for somebody who has eleven thousand followers on instagram the stories that I posted on the day of my release got 86 views. 86. I don't want to be one of them people that's like, it's the algorithm, 
Instagram's ruined my business, yada, yada, yada. Because the truth of it is, is that Instagram is just a free platform. And in the past, I've had really, really good results from it. But it, I have seen a massive, massive change since like post pandemic up until now. And in the last year, I've taken a break from Instagram. So I wasn't on there for like five months. I wasn't posting for five or six months. And everything about Instagram is just so, so different. Yeah, yeah. Basically, my days of posting a release on Instagram and then sitting back and watching the sales come in are done. And they've been done and gone the last couple of years, if I'm honest. I've seen my engagement in Instagram decline and I have seen a direct correlation to my sales as well. I know, Alps, I know. The main things for me are that I don't have all the time that I used to have to focus on all of this and make content and do all of the things. So every, everything that I choose to do is very, very important. I've said for a while now, I'm focusing more on YouTube because it just makes more sense because you are paid when your YouTube videos are watched. But Instagram doesn't do that. And if you search on YouTube for a certain topic, it will show you videos from 10, 11, 20 years ago. So you continue to receive that income. So rather than using Instagram as my place where I reach everybody and I let them know what's going on, I am going to shift that so that it's a place where I'm posting for more people to find me and to continue to grow Instagram. But then from there, I want to get them onto my email list so that no matter what's going on, no matter what time I post, no matter where I post from, no matter at what time the launch is happening, at no matter what the product is, no matter what the algorithm says or whatever, 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 I can reach my people. It's time to get serious about my email marketing. I've always dabbled with it and then I'll come off it again and then I'll go back on it. Email is gonna be crucial. And I also have a Facebook group that I started for Granny Square Lovers and that is also gonna be crucial. The Facebook group is the next step because that is a concentrated amount of people within like a container that want to see Granny Square stuff, as opposed to on Instagram, having billions and billions of users and hoping that they want to see it and hoping that they are showing it. So yeah, it's not like a breakup with Instagram, but feel like this has been a little bit of a drawn out breakup with Instagram. I'm still posting on there and I'm still on there, but it's just not, I don't know how to explain it. I feel as if Instagram's got itself a little bit lost. It's just got itself a little bit muddled up. Like it used to be that it was all about pictures and a really nice aesthetic feed. And it was about building a community you need to be posting on there and be on there every single day and spend hours and hours and hours on there and not only do i not want that for myself i don't expect anybody that i'm following to do that either like we all have our own lives to lead so reels are great but they're also addictive and they've been created in that way to suck you in so you'll sit there and scroll like i've done it myself today I don't want to spend hours and hours of my life doing that and encouraging other people to do that. So, yeah. I would love to know if other designers have seen a massive decline in Instagram and what they're doing to overcome that. And I would love to know how they handle their release schedule around day-to-day -day life. And I would love to know how many hours they actually put in each week, what their work day looks like and their work week looks like and how are they doing this? And I'd like to know what their sales are, like how much are they actually making? How much are they seeing from this? 
in terms of feelings feeling a bit flat because i put so much work and time and effort into this release feeling a little bit like uh i just feel a bit confused i do feel a bit confused i'm just a little bit like what like what just what but mainly feeling determined so what is what am i supposed to do oh oh so confusing so what to do what to do it means a lot more it means a lot lot more to me now than it did when i first started when i was working full time like i've upped the stakes and i'd like my income to up with it <laughs> background information we're a one income family we are very very privileged and blessed that we can pay our mortgage pay all our bills live the way that we want to live and still have some money like disposable income like i'm really proud of us for what we've done and how much we are doing with the money that we have available to us and i'm really truly grateful that my husband works and grasps the way in which he does so that the lifestyle choices that we have made that we can honor them so we set me an income goal very small income goal it was based off we had like a formula to arrive at this goal as well with the view that we would increase it we would increase it in the future when I have a little bit more time to put into this or as our needs dictate it. We're trialing it, so from August until December. Because of that, I, I have decided to go all in and I wanted to release the sub squad and then to like top up my income. I had grand plans of releasing patterns every second month and just to keep it going and by doing that i feel like i've slipped straight back into that churn mill that i didn't want to be in that whole constant grind gotta push gotta get the next one out gotta get the next one out like i don't want to be in that place i don't need to everything that the income that we're talking about is for nice to haves and want to have not essential to survival so there isn't like a huge amount of pressure there but I have definitely been pressuring myself. So yeah, I then decided that I'm going to be releasing every month until the sub squad is at a point where it's covering my income goal. I don't think that was the wisest choice because I'm already starting to feel a little bit burnt out and like overwhelmed with how much that needs to be done. So my question to myself is, do I, strip out everything and just focus on the subscription squad rather than really pushing to get more patterns done and just have release after release after release which is something i didn't want to do hence why i went to a, a bi-monthly schedule do i just stop focusing on these releases they are a lot of pressure and they do take a fair bit of my time is that the more sensible thing to do I'm not going to stop designing other items, I know I won't because I love doing it. So is it then a case of rather than trying to get a pattern out every month, do I instead do a huge drop of all these patterns where like at the end of the month, I just, or the start of the month, I just release whatever is ready or do I have set times throughout the year or like how do I navigate that? how do I navigate this somebody please help me because I do not know and I'm winging it and it's so tough like there's such a limited amount of time and I really want to be doing the most with my time I don't want to be focusing on things that are actually slowing down my overall growth like rather than doing the individual patterns Am I not better off just putting all of that time into marketing my sub squad and growing that? Because 
it's already like my best seller on my website in terms of what I've released this year. The average value is higher than that of a pattern. So the comfort pattern is four pound, but the sub squad is 10 pound. So it makes sense for me to get, to put all of my energies into the sub squad, because if five people sign up to that, it's 50 pound. But if I get five sales on this, it's what, 20 quid? The time spent on this doesn't pay out in the way that the time spent on the sub squad does. So do I just stop designing these items and just focus on the sub squad? And if I was to do that, yes, my growth would be slower. Yes, I might not hit my income goal for some time, but it's not like I'm hitting it right now anyway. Ugh. And then I will have less to juggle, which is the whole reason why I started the subscription squad. There's no reason why I can't grow the sub squad to the moon and back. So am I then sabotaging my own success by trying to then add in the other little bits? Yes, in the short term, potentially, I could have more each month when I release these patterns. But in the long term, is that then gonna mean that it's even longer to grow the sub squad? Yeah, I'm so, so confused. And that's the thing with being self-employed. The beauty of it is there is no answers and there is no right way, but also there is no answers and there is no, I do not know what way to go. <laughs> uh. Um, yeah, haven't reached a conclusion. I very much need your help. I'm gonna speak to Brad later when he is back but I always find it so useful to speak to you as well. If if nothing else, at least it's gonna show anybody out there that's wanting to set up their business that like it can have a very, very slow start and then that, and to not think that that means you're doing anything wrong or that this is never gonna be a success, that's not the case. And Hopefully, if anything, it will inspire you to continue on even when it feels tough and it feels like you're not gaining the traction and you're not seeing the sales. I am getting there one granny square at a time, one granny square pattern at a time. And I shall continue to do that. Just figuring out how best to do that for HDDC, how best does that serve my family, my time, my circumstances? And you would be able to do the same for you as well. Um, yeah, haven't reached a conclusion. I very much need your help. Please, can you share my post to your stories to just try and help people find it. I'm gonna make some granny squares. I'll see you in the next one.